I couldn't be happier with Sony's newest batch of catalog Blu-ray titles. They are Cliffhanger and The Last Action Hero. Little Schwarzenegger Stallone twofer there, if you will. They're separate releases. They don't come together or anything like that. But just being released on the same day is a whole lot of 90s action that I'm, I'm pretty excited about getting. Neither of these movies is the best of their respective stars' careers, although they are both pretty good ones. Cliffhanger is certainly the better of the two movies. I think, as far as late Stallone goes, this was kind of after he had peaked with the Rocky and Rambo franchises, and Cliffhanger is literally the best film he made kind of after those franchises had finished. It's a really good, suspenseful, action-packed thriller, and I, I still stand by the fact that the opening sequence of the movie uh, with Stallone and his, his girlfriend on a rope and, and an accident that happens uh, is really one of the more suspenseful pieces of filmmaking I've seen in a long time. I don't know that has quite the impact now that I've seen the film a number of times as it does the first time I saw it, but I will never forget the feeling of sitting in that theater and watching him hanging onto his girlfriend by a thread and... and waiting to see what would happen. It's it's pretty spectacular, and I think the film still holds up as, as a lot of fun. I, I, I've always liked Sylvester Stallone. I think most people can enjoy Cliffhanger as the kind of good action adventure that it is. Now, the last action hero I know a lot of people will disagree with me on. It's a movie that is not particularly well-loved by Schwarzenegger fans, um, and it's not one of his best movies. He, he certainly made a lot of other ones that were better. Um, but in the hands of director John McTiernan, I found The Last Action Hero to be kind of a nice blend of, of action and comedy. It, it's certainly a bit too long, and it certainly does have some flaws, but boy, I, I really do kind of enjoy this movie. It, it's sort of a dumb, fun kind of action comedy, and it really has some clever moments in the humor that I think people tend to overlook because they were expecting more of a Schwarzenegger, you know, a big action spectacular that took itself seriously rather than kind of just playing on the whole action genre as, as almost a spoof at that point. But I, I think it's worth revisiting. It, 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 like I said, it's not the best Schwarzenegger film you're going to come across, but uh, it's a certain amount of fun that, that I enjoy. So I'm happy to have it on, on Blu-ray as well as Cliffhanger. Now, both of these films being catalog titles, they do kind of deliver exactly what you would expect from a Blu-ray disc of movies that are 15, 20 years old. Uh, you get your standard high-definition upgrade. The picture quality and the soundtracks are a little bit better than what you get on DVD. The pictures are nice. You get some really good clarity. You definitely get a little extra pop in the colors, but these are not full-blown high-def experiences that are going to be what you're going to pull out to show off your Blu-ray player with. Same thing goes for the soundtracks. You know, you get your high-definition 5.1 surround, and the films sound really good. There's there's no two ways about it. There's lots of good use of the activities, uh, the, the rear channels, things are happening kind of all around you, but it isn't quite that full-on immersive experience that you would get with a newer film, something like, say, you know, Transformers or uh, Imagine What Avatar Will Sound Like when it comes out on Blu-ray. These are a little bit more front-centered than uh, the, the really, really concrete sound feels that you get from some of the most recent films, but that being said, they are very good surround sound tracks, and you certainly won't be disappointed with them. In terms of extra features, the last action here only includes the Movie IQ feature, which is Sony's sort of live time uh, trivia cast info location shooting text-based supplement. They've been putting it on a lot of their catalog films now. It's a fine enough feature. It's nothing too exciting, but it's kind of neat. You can click a button and see who happens to be uh, playing a, a particular small role on screen at that time. Uh, Cliffhanger, on the other hand, does include a few more things. You get the Movie IQ feature as well. Um, you also get all the extras from the original special edition release, which includes commentary with director Rennie Harlan and Sylvester Stallone, another commentary track with the technical crew, um, Rennie Harlan giving you an, a personal introduction to the film, a collection of deleted scenes, a making-of featurette, a couple of special effects featurettes, and some trailers. So that's actually a much better disc for your money, although, except for the movie IQ, it is all stuff that has been previously available. So Last Action Hero, Cliffhanger, both available on Blu-ray for the first time. Both worthy purchases, in my opinion, but mostly it's going to come down to how much you love your Schwarzenegger and Stallone catalog films. I find them both to be particularly enjoyable, so I'm going to give them a mild recommended stamp. <laughs> 